Hello, my name is Javier Francisco Rodríguez and today I'm with Fernando and we're going to do the presentation of our paper, which title is Solving Urban Expansion Food Security by Means of Vertical Agriculture. So, modernization and urbanization has made people move into urban areas in seek of new opportunities and a better future, not only for themselves, but for their children. Nowadays, cities hold more than half world's population, and this number is expected to increase by 60 percent. Uh, is expected to increase 60 percent by 2030. Leaving governments no other choice than increase infrastructure in order to maintain the community. In this manner, resources like fertile land, gas, and oil are being consumed, uh, producing a lack of space and a non-controlled use of energy. This is not a reasoning issue and we can uh, we can see that the United Nations has, has included this in one of their sustainable development goals by the uh, by means of the 11th goal uh, called make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Current and future engineers will have to face this problem using new construction methods and new materials too, in order uh, to not only help society, but the environment too. These new methods are going to play an important role uh, in the development on, of what are called vertical cities, that are basically the cities of the future. Uh, the purpose of the paper uh, and of the presentation is to delve into these vertical cities and the um, <clears throat> and the opportunity that they provide to new agricultural patterns. Uh, the presentation is divided in two in two segments, uh, where the where the first one is going to be about vertical uh, development, where we're going to do a brief explanation of what it is and the rationale for it um, and the second one is going to be about vertical agriculture where we're going to do an analysis of the current situation uh, and why vertical agriculture is one of the best options for to, uh, to solve this for solving this problem Okay, the exponential consumption uh, of uh, fertile lands uh, has uh, has led uh, to the development uh, of uh, new ways of construction due to the decreasing quality uh, of life in, in urban areas. The advancement of technology uh, uh, in many in many fields, but more pressingly uh, in health. Uh, has, has increased life uh, uh, expectancy in the world. Uh, today, uh, studied uh, by the Department of Economical and Social Affairs, uh, state, uh, state that uh, globally life expectancy uh, at birth is, um, is, is projected to rise from uh, 70 years in, 2000, uh, in 2010 and 2015 to 77 years in, in 2045, 2050, and to uh, 83 years in, uh, in 2095 and uh, uh, 2100. As well, uh, immigration looking for a, 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 better, uh, a better quality, uh, a better life quality uh, have to move uh, uh, to cities which are a great, uh, a great uh, infrastructure. Okay, so uh, this has resulted in large or big cities uh, which are conglomeration uh, of people uh, who have uh, uh, to face uh, difficulties, difficulties in terms of uh, infrastructure, uh, service deficiency, uh, and, and force uh, scarcity. Uh, this great uh, increase in population uh, leads uh, uh, to the concept of vertical development for urban infrastructure. Uh, cities 
uh, will be a combination of uh, sky scraps, uh, color, uh, vertical situation. Uh, with construction models uh, based on house, offices, uh, shoppings, malls, uh, among others, uh, which are developing vertically. Uh, so, uh, this system uh, in reference to uh, sustainable development, uh, uh, it has uh, uh, many advantages, uh, for example, development of better service systems, uh, pollution reduction, uh, increasing security, uh, and use of different renewable, 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 renewable um, energy stars, uh, such as uh, solar, wind, and, and geothermal. So uh, next, the focus uh, will be on sustainable through um, um, vertical agriculture. Okay, so the increased mass population, more precisely in undeveloped uh, countries in Asia, Asia and Africa, uh, have shown that uh, the urban growth is relating not only to the use uh, of land, the land use increase, sorry, in terms of, of infrastructure, but also its overuse uh, for agriculture. So, um, the, in order to meet the, con the constant demands for food products, land has been damaged. And agriculture uh, uses uh, the, some activities like plugging of fields, for example, or the use of fertilizers, uh, which uh, make the degradation of soil. Uh, according to, st to studies made in 2015, made by uh, the University of Sheffield's Grantham Center for Sustainability Futures, only 33% of the world's adequate or high quality food producing land has been lost at a rate that far outstrips the pace of natural processes to replace damaged soil. Because of this, agriculture is affected since uh, in needs of um, it depends of soil in order uh, for its development. Uh, apart from land use damage, uh, damage patterns, we can also mention the, 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 the substitution of green lands for a concrete infrastructure that has made the temperatures in cities increase. Uh, this is caused by a uh, uh, in structures made of concrete, which uh, absorbs and re radiate the solar energy, causing refraction effect. This is not only caused by concrete infrastructure, but also by crowds of people and the circulation of uh, combustion cars. Temperatures of large cities uh, increases more than sea than six uh, Celsius degrees uh, and the wind chill factor exceeds 10 Celsius degrees, making daily life even more difficult. Uh, there is also a lack of clean air since the urban, since urban pollution account for 70% sorry, of uh, CO2 emissions. So as city increase, uh, pollution does it too. We can mention that this uh, pollution is caused by people's breathing, sorry, by people's breathing, uh, by cars, by structural uh, elements, basically each uh, resistant part that from, from any building, and the pollution is also caused by energy consumption. So in order to develop emission cuts, cuts uh, it's important to make innovation in this area and to propose uh, planning solutions because cities in this scenario not only uh, cause problems to air but also to climate change. Okay, uh, the increase in the demand uh, for product and the decrease in fertile land 
uh, leads to uh, the proposal of solution uh, to test problem. Uh, and one of them is a vertical agriculture or farming. Uh, this method consists in the use of uh, poor air uh, and the, the great solar radiation that buildings have at their, uh, their height. Vertical agriculture consists uh, in the, the massive uh, uh, development of uh, hanging and indoor uh, um, plantation on, on the, the balcony uh, and terrace of this building. Uh, and uh, one, one of the, the important aspects of, of uh, this method is, uh, is uh, that people uh, do not uh, need uh, knowledge um, uh, in, in agriculture to it. Um, in addiction, uh, one, one, uh, one most important advantage uh, uh, are that uh, the uh, warmer environment is obtained uh, without the, the need uh, to use uh, hot and cold air condition. Um, consequently, uh, it can be affirmed that a uh, uh, grand um, sorry. Uh, uh, green wild uh, green uh, wild will uh, have not uh, have an, uh, a noticeable uh, uh, impact um, uh, on the height uh, gain and loss of uh, building, as well um, uh, as the humidity, uh, air quality, and energy energy science. Uh, finally. Uh, it can be said that vertical farming helps both the ecosystem and, and the, the people. Okay, so uh, talking about the main advantages of vertical agriculture, uh, we can mention that vertical agriculture has a higher productivity in a much smaller area uh, since a vertical agriculture make uh, 10 times more uh, plants per unit area that normal agriculture, making this its main advantage. Uh, vertical agriculture works in a closed environment, uh, meaning that it's not affected by natural conditions like floods, heavy rains, uh, dry spells, and the epidemic of pests and disease, among others. Uh, we can also mention that if vertical agriculture, if vertical farms are well implemented in vertical cities, they can work without the use of pesticides since they are going to be isolated. A vertical agriculture produces constant harvests over the years, meeting in a more efficient way the food demands uh, of people. A vertical agriculture reduces cost over transporting lots of food grains. Since they're going to be implemented in cities, there are not many largest uh, ways that they have to transport the food in order to deliver, deliver it to families. In addition, we are, um, we are reducing the spoilage of, of the food made by vertical agriculture. Vertical agriculture also offers fresh air uh, but this is only for the closed environment since uh, it is hardly possible that the fresh air produced by vertical agriculture uh, has have an influence into the polluted air in cities. Uh, it's going to be the other way. The polluted air is going to affect vertical agriculture system. And also, Vertical agriculture uh, recycles all the, all the water and nutrient used, meaning that the only thing that it's not recycled is wh it's what it's produced. Uh, in this manner, we can uh, it can be created create a vertical farms in a controlled environment where uh, errors can be can hardly occur. Okay, so uh, vertical agriculture uh, is being practiced in nowadays uh, science 
Honey of the World, uh, is the developed countries uh, have implemented this system. Uh, Europe and, and, and Oceania uh, are using this type of uh, method because the, the, the least space uh, space of uh, fertile soil available user uh, for agriculture lead to the text 